So in today's rendition of China versus America, <laughs> so recently there has been a lot, a lot going on in the world of crypto. Uh, so basically Binance, who is the number one largest crypto exchange by volume um, in the world and FTX, the third largest crypto exchange by volume, um, are having some conflict between one another. Um, so Binance founder and CEO Changping Zhao, also known as CZ, uh, revealed on Sunday that his company uh, was going to liquidate its position on FTX's native token, FTT. Um, so Zhao went on Twitter to discuss that his reasoning for this liquidation was due to uh, quote unquote recent revelations that have come to light. Uh, we believe this is referring to a balance sheet report um, that came out from CoinDesk. Uh, he noted in the tweet that this wasn't because FTX is a competitor of theirs. Um, he enforced that by saying actually that Binance always encourages collaboration. Um, he also said that every time a project publicly fails, it hurts every user and every platform. Um, and then there were tweets referring to the previous Luna crash incidents. Um, so the FTX CEO did not seem to take this in a positive light. Um, he went on Twitter and responded by saying a competitor is trying to go after us with false rumors. Uh, FTX is fine. Assets are fine. Um, he assured users that FTX does not invest its clients' assets. Um, the exact value, sorry, the exact value of the FTT tokens uh, that Binance holds is actually unknown, but the exchange received a total of 2.1 billion dollars in Binance USD coin um, and FTT from its FTX. Uh, equity exit last year um, there was a quote-unquote well alert actually that was tweeted on this past Saturday um, that showed a transfer of 22.9 million FTT token uh, which is valued at roughly around 584 million at the time um, and the Binance CEO actually responded to that alert tweet saying yes this is part of it. Um, this position alone takes up 17% of the total FTT in circulation in the market though. Um, so going into why this all happened, to, so we gotta, to get a better picture as to way, what may have caused um, CZ to do this, um, we have to go back to last week when a report came out about the balance sheet of Alameda Research. Um, which is a crypto trading firm that FTX CEO Sam Bankman Fried co founded with Caroline Ellison, Ellison, I don't know how to say that, back in 2017, uh, which was just two years before he launched his crypto exchange FTX. Um, Alameda holds $14.6 billion in assets with around eight billion dollars in liabilities as of june 30th uh, according to this report um, the report showed that alameda's largest asset was about 3.6 billion dollars worth of quote-unquote unlocked ftt and 2.1 billion dollars worth of ftt collateral um, FTT is the token behind FTX, if you didn't know. Um, owning this token and staking it on their platforms gives users um, some incentives. They get cheaper fees. They uh, are eligible for, for giveaways and uh, a bunch of other stuff, basically. Um, but this meant that $5.8 billion uh, in total FTT that Alameda owns is equal to 193% of the total known FTT market cap, um, which is roughly $3 billion. So they own more tokens 
then are actually circulating on the market, which then leads to the illiquidity issues. Um, so the company is holding eight of, sorry, $5.8 billion worth of a token that it can't even sell without actually killing the entire value of that token. Um, there are other concerns that came from this report. Uh, the other being the fact that Alameda counted Solana and Solana based tokens such as Sol, uh, Maps, and Oxy on its $3.4 billion uh, crypto assets, which means they must actually have a big holding in uh, these coins. Um, all of these coins have actually performed terribly throughout this crypto bear market and Solana's token has been experiencing a lot of chatter and a lot of sell-offs actually since this weekend when they announced uh, their Google partnership. Um, it may have been a buy the rumor, sell the news sort of deal. Um, but to start this week off, Solana's token was one of the biggest losers in the digital asset market. Uh, the token is down almost 20% in the last seven days. Um, one theory is that Alameda is trying to sell some of its soul tokens to create whatever liquidity they can while they still can. Um, if these tokens are representing Alameda's combined holdings, uh, then the trading firm will be in some real trouble uh, if they ever needed to cash out on these assets due to the fact that the tokens that they're holding are actually very illiquid. Um, so taking these numbers at face value would make it seem that Alameda is in a very rough situation. The firm has $8 billion in liabilities, but the numbers don't seem to look like they can actually pay that off. Um, the numbers may not even be accurate for all we know, as this report did leak from a crypto media outlet. Um, given FTX's recent history of bailing out struggling crypto companies this summer, um, I can imagine that they would have no issue bailing out their sister company if it was necessary, uh, seeing as though FTX and Alameda are basically very intertwined together. Um, the current CEO of Al uh, sorry, Alameda Research went to Twitter actually to respond to some of these accusations. Uh, she first denied that her firm was in any sort of trouble, stating that the company has over $10 billion in assets that aren't even listed uh, in this balance sheet. She also directly tweeted CZ, the CEO of Binance, um, stating that it, if he could sell all of his tokens to Alameda, they would gladly take them for $22 each. Um, this also then brings on a whole new subset of questions. The first being, why does the CEO not want to purchase them under $22? Um, will the firm face some sort of margin calls under this price due to how much collateral they have against it? Um, I mean, there's so many questions that will circulate from this, but at the time of making this video, the value of the FTT token has dropped from $22 today to now $16. Um, and it is currently down 28%. Um, so the sell-off has commenced and the domino effect has started um, due to CZ's sell-off. Um, it's all a bunch of he say, she say sort of stuff right now. Um, but when the number one crypto exchange in the world is announcing a sell-off this massive, and in this manner, uh, it's kind of raising a lot of suspicion as to what is truly happening. Uh, usually the big dogs in the space kind of make their moves before a major event takes place. So maybe uh, CZ is foreshadowing something that could be happening in the future, or maybe this was just a calculated move against one of their rival opponents. Um, who knows really, but that's gonna do it for now, um, I hope you did find some value from this. Uh, I hope you did learn something new, maybe. Um, drop me a comment on what you think of this whole situation about what's going on. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy it and be sure to subscribe as well.